All right, guys, now we're going to cover a choke series, working initially from the front headlock, and then we're going to transition from the front headlock, using into sweeping position, to finish a couple other chokes. So the first position we're going to work on is from a front headlock, and we're going to work a Peruvian necktie. So I have Zach in a front headlock position. He's on his knees. Whether he came off of the shot or not, it's not too important. We just end up in this position. Some key things when I come into my front headlock is I always like to grab the head and the arm. I like complete control of the upper body in this position. When I go into this position here, especially when I'm looking for my Peruvian, I don't want to give Zach the ability to grab my leg. So notice that when I'm in my kind of front headlock sprawl position, I'm keeping my shoulder and a little bit of my chest on top of him. Okay, I want to kind of hit him right in his shoulder blades. So from this position, whether I'm cocked up or down on one knee, I always like to create a little bit of an angle, that way you can't sit out and go for a double. Even if I feel I'm reaching for this front leg, it's pretty easy to start threatening with my choke as he reaches, which will typically make him let go. The next thing I'm going to look to do here is, is really thread my arm all the way through for my Peruvian. So since my left arm is wrapping around the neck and looking to choke him here, typically I'll do one of two things. If I can push his elbow in, that's the first thing I'll look to do, and I'm going to thread and grab my wrist and punch it through all the way to the armpit. If I can't do that and his arm's still out, that's not a huge deal. I still just want to pull my arm through, elbow deep, as close as I can go. If I can force that elbow in any, that would help. From this position here, notice how I have my head facing towards the outside. I'm now going to start walking myself to the side of his body, almost going into the turtle, while just turning my head to the left. So I'm going to walk, and as I walk, notice how my grip never comes off. I never let go. And as I walk, I get on my tippy toes, and I press into my partner. So I press it, but I'm not sliding up the body. Very important. So from here, whether I'm on my knees or posted, I'm giving him forward pressure. I'm going to turn my head in the direction I'm going to go. And I'm going to get up on my toes and walk to the side. Note again that I'm pressing into my partner. Now from this position here, I like to slide my right knee right to the side of the back and then throw my left leg over. When I throw my left leg over, I want my heel to come to the side of the head here. So I still have my strong grip. I take a big step with my left leg, slide my heel to the side of the head. And the last step here is as I rotate to my left hip, I want to make sure simultaneously I'm throwing my right leg over the back. If I don't throw my right leg over the back, Zach has a good chance of passing this. So typically I'll kind of cock up onto my right foot. See how I'm bending here, squatting. I'm not going to pull him straight back. Instead, I'm going to rotate towards my left shoulder, almost like we finish your traditional heel team. So I'm pulling this in tight. I'm going to rotate and throw my leg over. Note that when I throw my leg over, I want to try to stay connected to Zach. I'm going to drive my heels down and pull the choke in and get my tap. Very tight. And now we're going to show a couple of different angles, this time with my back facing. So I'm going to center a little bit. I have my headlock position here. I'm pressing the PBR through, nice and tight. I'm going to walk to the side. As I walk, my hand turns with me. I'm going to take a big step over with my outside leg first. And again, this is good enough. You want to get the heel as close as you can to the side of the head. Next, we're going to do a step up on our other leg, get on our toe, and squat. Okay? Don't fall back, and don't raise up. Just take it active. From this position here, notice that my elbow is deep, as deep as possible. Okay, so my left elbow is all the way through. I'm going to start rotating to towards my left shoulder and then throw that right leg over. So I sit through and look how close I am to that. I'm on my hip. Okay, this is very important. Legs are tight, heel down, and drive until I get my tap. Hey guys, the last little detail here when you're doing your Peruvian necktie is to make sure that you're really, like I said, threading and pulling your wrist all the way through for that choke. Blade pointing up, grabbing right at the wrist bone, holding it nice and tight, elbow deep.